Hi, everyone. Hey, today we're going to be talking about renovation loans. Oh, my gosh. Who wants to buy a property and renovate it? Now, that's how you get a deal. <laughs> So we want to talk about, there's a great uh, renovation program that our lender, one of our preferred lenders has, and we just want to talk you through what a renovation loan is. So a renovation loan means you're going to borrow the money to buy the home and the money that you need to renovate it based on the future value of the home. So if you're going to do X renovation, the home's going to be worth X amount more. They base that loan amount on the future value of the home. You follow that? Yes, it sure does. So, <laughs> hey, this is my house I'm buying. This is my house I'm buying. That's what it's going to be worth when it's fixed up. They loan you the money on what it's going to be worth fixed up. Right. So that works for um, owner-occupied property. So you need it can be your primary residence or your second home. Um, but you can. Uh, there are some investor ones av available too. But generally, your primary home or your second home, you can use this type of loan for. Yes, it can get a little tricky, mm -hmm. but the steps aren't that difficult to walk through. Now, we can get them done in 30 days, too. So one of the, the myths about these loans is they take forever to get, and that's not true. We can get, get them done in 30 days. Now, the way it technically works is when you close on the house at X price, you're going to have this extra pool of money here that's your future value, that's your fix-up money. That money gets transferred out of escrow into another holding company that will distribute the money to a contractor. There's no DIY here. It has to go to a contractor um, as the draws happen, as the project rolls forward. So that's technically how it works. Kind of like a builder. When a builder builds a house, you know, they get a foundation draw when the foundation's poured and set. They get a framing draw when they're out there framing, putting the sticks together and building the house. So same thing here on the fix-up loan. Yes. You, yeah, so the the renovation re loan. Renovation. So there's uh, <laughs> three general ways this works. There's an FHA standard. Um, that's a minimum of $5,000 and no maximum owner-occupied single-family home. FHA approved condos and multifamily up to four units. There's an FHA 203K limited. That's smaller projects, non-structural, up to $35,000 max. Again, owner-occupied single family, FHA approved condo or multifamily up to four units. Yeah, or that one's more of a like a paint and carpet kind of loan. <laughs> $35,000 goes very quickly these days. Uh -huh. And then a conventional home style renovation loan up to 75% of the future value. So they will loan up to 75% of the future value total amount. So it still basically means you have 25% down, at least, of the future value. Is another way to say that. Yes. Um, Owner-occupied, single-family, condo, multifamily, up to four units, second home, single-family only, and investment, single-family only. So those are the rules around that. So then how does this work? Renovation loan program, there is a max loan amount for Ventura County. The loan amount, 954900 which is our loan caps, the way they work. Anyway, Ventura, Los Angeles County, $1,149,000. Um, minimum credit score, 620. Now keep in mind, the lower your credit score, the higher your rates and points are going to be. That's right. Oh, and these... Loans always have points, by the way. You do pay points on these loans. So this is a loan of nine fifty four five hundred. So you get twenty five percent above that. So you're going to be pretty much entry level. So you're going to be looking at homes eight nine hundred thousand that need to be fixed up. You're going to have your twenty five percent down payment, and there is no deferment on payment. So once you close the loan, you start making the payments on the okay. full value or or your full loan, even though it's not all been distributed yet. Yeah, I don't think I actually said that right because I think you can put less than 25% down. It's just the way I use this loan example, this amount. So I did not say that right. You can put less money down, but I was trying to make this loan value work out on the fly. <laughs> yes, yes. So I would explain think, that again. How <laughs> explain that how that works again? Well, I think your your loan amount or the your down payment amount they come together, right? Loan amount, down payment, that comes to purchase price. It can be up to 954500 in Ventura County. Right. So, I mean, if you put half down, then you can do renovations. Well, you do more. You probably don't need a renovation loan if you <laughs> have don't. half down. <laughs> yeah, um, you got this. <laughs> 
you can see why we have really good <laughs> lenders that we work with, but we just want you to know what all your options are. So an FHA uh, renovation loan, you have six months to get the job done. And a conventional, you have 12 months to get the job done. So they're not going to dilly dally on this. They want you to see you get your fix up done. Um, oh, here we go. Minimum down pay payment for primary one unit, three and a half percent FHA or three to five percent conventional. Um, so I just got myself all sideways there with the math. Hey, that happens sometimes. Um, but just trying to make an example on the fly, and I shouldn't have done that. Um, so always just keep in mind that, you know, if you find a home that you like and you are, you know, you really want to put your 20% down, but you still need work to do and you don't have your down payment, so you don't have to pay the PMI, but you want to do some renovations, there are options. So you can get a little more money from a loan like this to help you get some of your renovations done, that you see something that you want to fix up, which I don't know what buyer has ever bought a home that there they wasn't something they wanted to fix up. They always want to make it their <laughs> own and you can't blame them. It's a house, it's their house. That's right. Yeah, That's now the percentage that we gave on the 20, 25% down, you're not gonna have PMI, private mortgage insurance. With the three and a half percent and three to five percent conventional loans, uh, three and a half H FHA, you're definitely going to have PMI. PMI is not a bad thing; it's just a necessary thing if you don't put down twenty percent or more. That's private mortgage insurance. I think he said that, but I just did say making that. sure that you know. Okay, did you, you know? Hear that? I mortgage? I think he said it too, but just wanting to make sure we're being clear. <laughs> I'm not sure we're being clear as mud today, um, but there is an option that if you are thinking about that or you have any questions about. The renovation loan, we will put you in touch with our lender who can explain it perfectly for your exact situation um, or what you you are thinking about. So, you know, if you are thinking about real estate in any way, um, we would love to talk to you because we love to talk about real estate and we just want to keep you up to date. So, you know, if you have any friends or family that want to talk about real estate, you can send them this email. That's right. And we love innovation. So anytime you can borrow money against the future value of your home, after it's fixed up, that's a great thing. And it makes it more exciting to be a homeowner if it's not exciting enough already. <laughs> so thanks for watching. We always love, love giving you guys all the information we have to try and keep you up to date and know who your real estate resource is. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Mm -hmm.